Today, I'm going to take you through the entire freeze drying process from beginning to end. From prep work, to packaging, to rehydrating. It's a great way to preserve food for short-term or long-term use. Keep in mind that nearly every food can be freeze dried. From fruits and vegetables, to meats, dairy, eggs, and even full meals like lasagna and beef stroganoff. Before we get started, let's turn on the freeze dryer to let it get cold. Today I'm going to freeze dry scalloped potatoes and ham. I'll also freeze dry raspberries, apples, and ice cream sandwiches. Let's get these prepared for the freeze dryer. Let's slide the trays in the freezer. Put the door pad in place, turn the handle completely to the right, and that's it! It's that easy. This appliance is amazing. The freeze dryer is going to freeze the food 40 or 50 degrees below zero. Then the vacuum pump will automatically turn on and create a vacuum inside the chamber. The freeze dryer gradually warms the food, the water sublimates off as a gas, and the food dries. The process takes about 24 hours. When it's done, the freeze dryer will beep. The process is entirely automatic. The freeze dryer has been running for about a day and you can see that the screen indicates the food is dry. Let's turn off the freeze dryer. The food looks exactly the same as when I put it in. It hasn't changed its shape, color, or flavor. I'm going to test a few of the bigger pieces to make sure that the food is completely dry. The potatoes are dry and crumbly. The raspberries look like fresh raspberries. They are so good, and they're completely dry. The apples are beautiful. They're the same color, same shape, and haven't shrunk at all. And the ham is perfect. Meats are the easiest to freeze dry. Since there's no water left in the food, I'm ready to package and store it for future use. There are three things that cause food to go bad. Heat, water, and oxygen. The freeze dryer takes all of the water out of the food while the food is still really cold. And the way to take out all of the oxygen is to put the food in a mylar bag and add an oxygen absorber. You can also use number 10 cans or canning jars. All of these methods will preserve the food for many years to come. My family loves to snack on freeze dried fruit. Sometimes I store it in these glass jars and sometimes I store it in canning jars. That way they're easy to access for a snack. For long-term storage, I'll put the rest in mylar bags, add an oxygen absorber, and seal them up. Raspberries and other fruits are delicious in cold cereal or warm oatmeal. I've powdered them and used them in smoothies and even to flavor cakes and frosting. Try using freeze-dried fruit in your baking. You can drop them in your muffin batter or your next cobbler. There are so many options. Okay, these are ready for your pantry or food storage room. Your family will love these. Properly stored food can last up to 25 years. 